In this next part, we're going to be evaluating when you have a binomial term for functions. So let's take a look at this example. Our example is g of x equals negative 3x plus 10. And our question is, evaluate g of m plus 4. Alright, so let's write out the work. So our function is g of x equals negative 3x plus 10. And it's asking you to evaluate at g of m plus 4. So what it means is that I'm switching out my x and replacing it with m plus 4, the whole term, m plus 4. So that means that I'm going to have my negative 3, parenthesis, m plus 4, and then bring down my plus 10. So again, all I did was switch out my x and then replace it with m plus 4. So after that, I'm going to distribute my negative 3. So negative 3 times m is negative 3m. Negative 3 times positive 4 will be negative 12. And then bring down the plus 10. And then I'm going to combine my like terms, which is my two numbers. So I'm going to have negative 3m minus 2. Bring down the left side. And then this is just my final answer. So g of m plus 4 is equal to negative 3m minus 2. And then that's all you have to do. In this next example, we have h of x equals negative 2x squared plus 6x plus 5. Now, we have an x squared and an x. So it's going to be a different way of the way it looks, but the process is going to be the same, especially when we're evaluating with a binomial term, a minus 3. So again, the question is, evaluate h of a minus 3. As I said before, it's going to look different, but it's going to be the same process as what we had done for the previous examples. Alright, so we're going to start evaluating this function. So I'm going to start writing out h of x first negative 2x squared plus 6x plus 5 alright and it asks you to evaluate h of a minus 3 so again I'm replacing all my x's with a minus 3 so what I should have is my negative 2 because it's in front of the x squared and then plugging in a minus 3 Make sure I have my square plus 6 a minus 3 and then bring down the plus 5. So again, I switch all my x with a minus 3. Alright, so this is the part where you just gotta be careful with the work. So first is working with square, so a minus 3. I'm gonna expand and let you see what it looked like. So a minus 3 times a minus 3. And then bring down everything else. Alright, now the reason I wrote and expand out a minus 3 squared is that here you will see that you're going to have to FOIL or use the box method. Now, in the past I had students, when they see a minus 3 squared, they think that there's going to square on the a on the 3 which is technically true, but they're also leaving out some missing steps. So like I said, if you don't expand out, or if you don't remember to FOIL, you're going to leave out some steps. So as you can see, I drew my blue lines. I'm going to do a times a, which is a squared. a times minus 3 will be minus 3a minus 3 times a will also be 3a and then minus 3 times minus 3 will be a positive 9 and then I'm bringing down everything else I'm still simplifying 
inside this parenthesis. Here I can combine like terms. So I'm going to have negative 2 times a squared minus 6a plus 9. Alright, so after I finish simplifying a minus 3 squared, or basically foiling, or using the box method a minus 3 times a minus 3, next I'm going to distribute the number that's outside the parentheses, so negative 2 on the a squared minus 6a and the plus 9. Over here, distributing the plus 6 on the a and the minus 3. So from there, I'm going to write in blue. So I'm going to have negative 2a squared. So negative 2 times negative 6a will be plus 12a. Next, I'm going to get minus 18. I'm going to distribute negative 2 with the positive 9. All right, over here, positive 6 times a plus 6a. Positive 6 times negative 3 minus 18. And then bring down the plus 5. All right, now is time to combine like terms. I don't have any a squares, so I'm just going to bring down the negative 2a square. Now, let's take a look at our a's. I do have 12a here and a 6a, so I'm going to combine them. So positive 12 plus 6 will be plus 18a. Now my numbers, I have minus 18, another minus 18, and a positive 5. So, minus 18, or negative 18, minus 18, that's negative 36, plus 5 will be negative or minus 31. Then I'm going to bring down my left side, which is h of a minus 3, which we were evaluating, or looking for. So my final answer is h of a minus 3 equal negative 2a squared plus 18a minus 31. So that's my final answer. And again, to review, a minus 3 squared, so whenever, whenever you have a binomial term that's being squared, it's helpful when you expand to see that you have to FOIL or use box method so that way when you're combining like terms, you should have a trinomial term like I have here. So again, make sure to remember when you have a term, a binomial term that's being squared, make sure to expand out to see that you have to FOIL or use a box method. And then you should get a trinomial term.